All right, everybody. We are here with the brand new 2019 Matthews Vertix and the 2019 Hoyt RX3. Uh, we're comparing these bows. Uh, we talked a little bit about uh, the technologies on them and, and all the goodies that you get with them and, and, and what they've done differently over last year and the last few years. And now it is time to put them to their paces to see what we think of both bows. Uh, you know, this is, this, is, this is always the debate, you know, which bow is better. Uh, and then, you know, I'll tell you right now before we even do these tests, it's, they're both great bows. And a lot of it's going to come down to what you guys think when you shoot the bows. But we're going to do a little bit of that legwork for you. I'm going to shoot both, both of them back to back. So I'm going to shoot the Matthews first, put it down, pick up the Hoyt, shoot that, I'll let you know what I think. Both these bows are rated like almost identical as far as uh, this, the feet per second. So both of them are like a 342, 343 foot per second bow. Both of them have six inch brace heights. Both of them are right at 30 inches of axle to axle. So they're very comparable as, as that is concerned. So um, the Matthews, about 4.6 pounds is what they say. And, uh, you know, full aluminum bow, you know, it's, 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 it's solid, it feels solid. I'll put it that way. Here we go. 30 inch draw, 70 pounds. Very quiet, very dead in your hand. 340 feet per second. Uh, so they're they're right there. We got a loop here. We have a hostage, which is going to knock off a foot or two. Um, we're like a, a one grain over on the on the uh, weight of the arrow. So very very dead in your hand. Super super quiet. Probably the quietest, uh, most shock free bow that we've tested so far in 2019. So I'm going to put this down. Pick up the Hoyt, same exact specs as far as draw weight, draw length. Need a hand there. Yep. Need a hand? There we go. Got it. Got it. Okay. He's a little, he's a little Earl. All right, here we go. Hoyt RX3. <clears throat> 333. So we're looking at about six or seven feet per second difference in speed rating. For initial impressions, as far as draw cycle, we'll start there. Both bows felt pretty good on the draw cycle. I would say that the, I would give the edge to the RX3. Um, a little bit more consistent and no ramping at the back of your draw cycle. So some of the bows, this bow, the Matthews included, the Vertex, you can feel it kind of gaining poundage towards the end of the draw cycle. Now, granted, it is a little bit faster, at least it shot faster through the chronograph. So uh, you did get some more speed, but in my opinion, you paid for it a little bit on the draw cycle. I did like the draw cycle on the Hoyt a little bit better. Um, just a little bit more consistent, a little softer at the back end. I would rate valley and back wall on both of these bows very, very similar. Both had good valley, good let off. I wouldn't say excellent by any means. And again, that's kind of up to the, some people like a little bit less. But the, the back wall, you can kind of feel when you get back. Um, and these are both two cam bows. Both of them, you could kind of feel one draw stop hit slightly before the before the second one. So you didn't have that rock solid. You could feel just a little bit of rocking back and forth on one cam. So I'd say kind of a draw as far as draw, uh, excuse me, uh, back wall and valley. Um, on the shot, hands down, I would say that you're if you're looking for a very quiet, very shock free bow, um, the the Vertex had it. I mean, it it cleaned the slate. I mean, it just much much better. <laughs> Now again, here's the here's the other thing. This bow, your Hoyt, your RX3, is almost a pound lighter. It's a carbon riser. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit lighter, as far as the physical uh, weight of the bow, Hoyt takes that hands down. By far, uh, much much lighter. Felt a, honestly, the balance feels a little bit better. So um, again, go check them out. We're gonna let John shoot them and uh, get another opinion on here. I'd say both grips are, are very similar. They both felt good to me, um, but both of these bows have their strengths and their weaknesses. It's really up to you guys, but we just kind of want to give you a little bit of a heads up on what we think. So you kind of know what you're looking for when you go into the shop. So let Johnny shoot and let uh, him tell us what he thinks. 
<laughs> well, thanks, Jake, for that very uh, thorough opinion. You really marked all the boxes there. That's, uh, that's a lot to talk about. All right, guys, we have the RX-3, 30 inches, 70 pounds, and 350 grain arrow, and shoot it through the chrono here. Three thirty-one. Now for the vertex with an X. Yeah, uh, three thirty-eight. Um, hmm, initial thoughts, initial thoughts. Well, I mean, we, uh, we are blessed, I think, as archers, every archer out there, to live in an era where there's just a lot of good bows out there. And these do not disappoint. Um, I would say draw cycle, I, this is a very, very smooth bow, the Hoyt, the Red Works. Uh, I would prefer the draw cycle on, on this over the Vertex. Um, really just probably gonna echo Jake's opinion as much as I uh, hate to do that. Um, but uh, I, I actually prefer the grip on the Matthews. I like the changes they did there. Uh, at the shot, hand shock wise, this bow is a you know, pound lighter. And, uh, but there is absolutely, it's very still in the hand. And um, granted, being a pound heavier, and their new uh, their new dampening system, I'm sure that all plays plays a role into that. Um, yeah, just kind of you know you're gonna have to shoot them. I mean, they're both really really nice. Um, hopefully, the speeds that we got for you guys helps you out in making that decision. If uh, you know speed's a big thing to you. All right, hey, so we just shot the bows. Uh, we gave you our thoughts. You know, again, these are our thoughts. You have to, if you're interested in a new bow for 2019, this upcoming season, you have to check them out for yourselves. Everything that's uh, important to you, you're going to be able to find out for yourself at a local dealer. So go to the websites. A lot of these dealers carry multiple bows. So if you want to shoot Bowtech, Hoyt, Matthews, PSE, there's a good chance you're going to be able to do that within a radius of your house. So go check them out. Uh, but as for this review, we want to thank you for checking it out. Um, both really, really great bows. Very different bows, I would say. Once you, John, I mean, these these bows don't act similar yeah. in a lot of ways. Yeah, no, they're definitely uh, two different animals. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, that being said, you know, the Hoyt, Matthews, every manufacturer, I mean, the bows are getting so nice, um, you know, at this day and age, um, just as far as the shootability and the accuracy and all the nice features that they offer you know, the archer or, or, you know, the, comp the competition shooter. So, um, it's really gonna, you know, depend on whatever floats your boat. You know, what are you looking for? They're both very capable. Um, you know, mm -hmm. they're both going to get it done for you. So yeah. it's going to be for you to decide, but yeah. not after you go to all of our social avenues, like us, follow us there, uh, go to YouTube, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. It really helps us put out you know, this kind of content, uh, which we really enjoy doing for you guys. And then if you get a chance, go to prayingman.com. There's some awesome apparel over there. You know, we love the outdoors, um, you know, archer, archery, obviously. And that's what our apparel is geared to, the outdoor woman and outdoor man. So appreciate it, guys. Thanks a lot. We're going to do more reviews uh, as we get our hands on more gear. So stay tuned. Uh, to John's point, follow us on all the social platforms, and uh, we'll keep them coming. Thank you. Thanks, guys.